Hello there, Taurus. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. I'm back to do your general love reading from now through January 15th, 2020. That's a mouthful. <laughs> and I'm still getting used to saying 2020. Happy New Year to each and every one of you. Um, this is a general love reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Um, not all of the messages are going to be for every single person watching, so just keep an open mind. Remember that the future is never set in stone. Everyone has free will, and spirit will never interfere with your free will. If you're interested in booking a private reading with me, the link to my website is going to be down below. And I welcome you to like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And make sure you tell all your friends about my channel. Um, so let's see what's going on in your overall energy. What can Taurus know about love and relationships, please, Spirit? Love and relationships for Taurus through January 15th, 2020, please, Spirit. Thank you. What can Taurus expect? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp, please, Spirit. Taurus. Right. In your overall energy, you've got the Seder, revelry and indulgence. It's our, our friend Bacchus, Pan. Could it be Satan? Not today, Satan. Somebody's been overindulging, partying, having a good time. Or someone needs to have a good time because maybe you've been working too hard and you need to let your hair down. It could go either way and we will uh, find out later. All right, so let's uh, see what's in the cards for my lovely Tauruses, please, Spirit. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp, general love reading through January 15th, 2020. Right off the bottom of the deck, you've got the chariot, Cancerian energy, rising above, ascending, headed towards victory and success. Card number seven, divinely guided, divine feminine and divine masculine energies balance, yin yang. You are in control of where you want to go, following your destiny, following your true north. Large and in charge. Cancers are a cardinal sign. Taurus is a fixed sign. Cardinal signs instigate change in their natural born leaders. And so are Tauruses. Um, but they are, they're more in a leadership role, but they're more stubborn. They're, they're fixed energy. Okay. Two of cups. Aw, let's make a love bomb. <laughs> Yes, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. These two have a deep soul connection, yin and yang, balanced energy here coming together. Absolutely gorgeous. They're going to Frankenstein this relationship together. <laughs> They're going to bring it back to life. It's Frankenstein. All right, what else? Ten of Wands, Fire Sign Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I have my main coon here, Nikita. Hello. 
Um, somebody has a lot of baggage that's been a burdensome cycle and they are dropping, dropping everything to come back together with you. This person might take on way too much, either you or the other person, um, and they can't shoulder this relationship by themselves. It takes two. And the two of you are like fighting each other. And now, you know, somebody is in control. They know where they're going. And the charioteer, if you hop in, she'll, she, or, she or he, it's a woman on the card, will take you to where you want to go. Okay? But you got to get on the same page. What else? What? Mommy's busy working. Yes, I know. I know you want attention. Page of Wands, Fire Sign Energy, Aries Leo, Sagittarius. This is typically good news or divine timing at hand, but this person looks a bit sheepish. They look a little ashamed. They're sorry about something here. Somebody might want to extend an apology or the olive branch here. Okay, on the bottom, you've got the Five of Swords, Air Sign, Energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. There was some type of petty argument. Somebody looks like they're stubborn, kind of a jerk, self-sabotaging energy here. They don't care who they hurt. They always have to be right, a bit narcissistic here. Okay, they're being a pain in the ass. They might want to apologize but they're acting pretty immature about it. Somebody might be ready to move on. Somebody might have been, you know, partying way too much here. They just want to have a good time. They don't want to they don't want to have a bunch of drama and chaos and hurt and pain. You know, it's it's been difficult. And somebody's just, just about ready to move on here. Underneath that is the 7 of cups, the 2 of pentacles and the sun. So someone's been, they made some uh, choices here. They've got some options. they got to do what's best for them. Somebody's heading on back now that they're all balanced here, trying to keep their head above water. But there's union coming here, divine masculine energy, Leo energy with the sun, enlightenment. Somebody now sees the light and they're heading on back after... A bunch of confusion and dealing with the consequences of their poor choices. They chose the Lipton Cup of Worms instead of the Tasty Lobster Bisque. And they thought that they were right and knew it all. And nope, they see the light now and they're clear. Um, the sun is the divine masculine in all of his glory. Archangel Michael energy. You need to move, Nikita. Go on. Thank you. My cat is such a ham. She's a cancer, just like her mama. On the bottom, you've got the Ten of Pentacles, Earth, Sign, Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, Long-term commitment, somebody can see a future. Their future looks solid and bright. Um, there could very well be a happy union, a happy couple that will be together for a long time. Um, having it all. Um, leaving behind a legacy, um, stability and security for the long term. Um, we are going to take this over to Vimeo and see what the rest of the story is here. But it looks like somebody has been misbehaving. They've made some bad choices. Now they want to come in, possibly apologize. They see the light. Um, there might have been some debauchery going on here. Somebody was like, they know where they're going and they're not going to be veered off of their path or led astray. Somebody needs to basically get their act together and it's either, you know, get in or somebody's leaving leaving this person behind. But let's, uh, let's see what the rest of the story is over on Vimeo. I'll put the link down below for you guys. If I don't see you over at Vimeo, be the love, be the light. Take care.